Since the late 1960s, pop culture has been absolutely obsessed with mobsters, the mafia, gangsters, whatever you want to call them, myself included. I decided to take two of my favorite things, CS2 skins and the mafia, put them together and make a mafia style inventory in CS2. Now, if you guys are new here, I am going to be giving away these Shadow Daggers Damascus Steel in minimal wear condition once we hit 1,500 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do to enter is comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. Let's get started. Up first on the Knife Glove combo, we have a extremely high float. 0.96 Battle Scarred Crimson Web Stiletto. The reason I went with a Battle Scarred Crimson Web is because it kind of looks like this knife has been used before, right? Sometimes when you have to go take care of things, right? You're a Mafia member, you gotta go do little errands, you gotta take care of some people sometimes. You can't use a gun all the time, right? So you pull out the stiletto knife when you need to be a little bit more discreet when you're taking care of things. And I think this fits great. I think the stiletto knife is like, you know, classic Italian stiletto knife, Italian Mafia. I think it fits really well here. Onto the Glock, we have the Rose iron i really enjoy this thing i think it looks super nice i love the engravings along the side of the weapon i love the rose plants the thorns if you kind of look up like mafia on like google or pinterest or something like that you get this like weird new aesthetic with like guys with rose tattoos on their necks and stuff like that and i think this glock embodies that perfectly up next we have the usps ticket to hell i went with this specifically for the name if you're in the mafia in the eyes of god you might not be the best person you might have committed some not good acts, right? You might not have made the best choices in your life, right? And you got yourself a ticket to hell. Therefore, I think this USPS fits really nicely. Onto the P250, we have the Franklin. If you're in the Mafia, you got a couple things that are high priority to you. Priority number one is most likely money. Paper. You're paper chasing. You love the Benjamin Franklins, right? You love them. You kill for them. You die for them. And the P250 Franklin, it's that. It's money. It's a great fit here. Onto the dualies, we have the balance. I like these things a lot. I think they're a super slept on dually, first of all. Very sleek silver with black. Nice little rose on the handle there. It's an underrated dually, in my opinion, and it kind of gives me the same vibe as the Glock did, right? Just that it has that rose, the beautiful engravings along the side, same sort of mafia Pinterest vibe that the Glock was giving. I think it's a great choice. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these skins, please check out today's sponsor. SkinsMonkey is an instant way to get new CS2 skins and make your perfect inventory. First, deposit the skins you want to trade, then filter for the skins you want, last hit trade, and the new skins will instantly be yours. SkinsMonkey is offering up to 5 free dollars on your first trade. The more you trade, the more you earn. If you're looking to buy skins for cheap, SkinsMonkey offers a 35% top-up bonus if you use code Savimi at checkout. Check out SkinsMonkey and build your perfect inventory. Onto the Tech 9, we have the Hades, specifically a Battle Scarred. This particular one we're looking at right now is .999. If you guys didn't know, this skin usually has kind of like Spartan helmets on it, but in Battle Scarred, it clearly changes to almost what looks like skulls. So I think it was a nice combination of both things, right? You got the Spartan helmets, which are kind of an Italian thing, an old Roman thing, right? And then you also have the Battle Scarred Hades, which is full of skulls. And you know, like we talked about earlier, Mafia members, they might be creating some skulls, right? depending on the task that they're doing. Onto the 5.7, we have the Withered Vine. Now, this thing is a little bit off theme, you might be thinking at first glance, but this really reminds me of wine, like grapes. Beautiful vines growing up, Withered Vine in the name. It has purple grapes or purple sometimes. You make wine out of grapes. In the way the Mafia is portrayed in the media, they're always drinking wine. They have it with every meal. It's kind of, it's a sacred drink to them. So I think a gun that kind of represents the creation of wine is a great fit for a Mafia loadout. Onto the R8, we have the Memento. I really enjoy this skin. I think it looks really sleek, especially with the ivory handle, beautiful engravings on the weapon. This kind of reminds me of like a default little handgun that all mobsters kind of carry around in their suit pocket, right? They whip it out. It's discreet. It's small. This is probably what you're doing most of your jobs with, right? I think it fits great. Onto the Desert Eagle, we have the Night Heist. Again, this one's a little bit off theme, but if we take a look at the pattern template of the Night Heist, it's actually a map kind of planning out an actual heist. What do Mafia members do? They boost items. They steal sometimes, right? And they boost, right? This is the de this is the blueprint. This is the plan that they're going to use to boost the goods, to steal the items. I think it was a really unique choice, and this Deagle honestly really has grown on me. I think it looks phenomenal in CS2. Super slept on. Onto the MAC-10, we have the Whitefish, specifically a battle-scarred Whitefish once again. I like the vibe of this skin, right? It's dark, it's kind of grungy, it looks like it's been used for sure. This thing has definitely seen action, it's seen gunfights, it's seen war. And, you know, the classic term, sleeping with the fishes. Oh, where's Bobby? Where's where's Polly? Oh, he's sleeping with the fishes, right? 
boom, white fish, dead fish scales, especially on the handle right here. As you can see, when you reload the weapon, there's that fish spine, really cool skin, very unique choice. Onto the MP7, we have the gun smoke. Now I know this thing is called gun smoke, but the way those beautiful smoke patterns are all over the weapon paired with the brown accents really reminds me of a cigar. You know, Mafia bosses, they're always smoking cigars, right? Every scene, every movie, they got a cigar they're puffing on. Big old thing, big Cuban cigar, whatever they're smoking. I like the skin. I think it's super sleek looking. It's kind of on theme with the colors we're going for here, as well as fitting the vibe, right? Boss smoking a cigar. This is the gun. Onto the MP9, we have the stained glass. Now, if you guys watched my most recent video, I talked about how the stained glass really embodies stained glass windows in churches now in CS2. Mafia members in media, at least, are known for being Catholic, right? They're Italian. Italians are Catholic. Catholic churches have these beautiful stained glass windows most of the time. So I thought this was a great fit, right? They're making their weekly Sunday visits to church, making right with God for all their deeds. I think it's a good choice. Onto the P90, we have the shallow grave. First of all, I think this is a very, very beautiful skin right you have a skeleton inside what looks to be some sort of tomb a shallow grave right mafia members sometimes murder some people they they take care of the problem right they take care of it and sometimes you have to make a grave on the fly a real quick little shallow grave might come back to bite you in the butt later down the road but for now it's a shallow grave really like this skin Onto the PP Bison, we have the High Roller. One of the parts of the Mafia lifestyle that's portrayed in media is gambling. They love gambling. They have little gambling games for High Rollers only. Boom. PP Bison High Roller, the name fits. You got Blackjack going on or something here. I'm not too sure. I'm not a huge IRL gambler myself, but the skin is beautiful. Very unique with the chips along the magazine of the PP Bison. I love that touch. I think it fits well. Onto the XM, we have the black tie. Just a classic sleek XM, right? Tuxedo, black tie. I think it fits well. Mafia members are always dressed nice. They have nice suits. They go to black tie events sometimes. And I needed to include an XM skin. I think the XM is a vital part of any loadout, and I really wanted to throw one on the list here. We do have a Negev skin today, and it's the Bratatat. The Bratatat. I like this thing. I don't know. It's kind of goofy. It's kind of a mock joke pick here, but you know, bratatat. What do mafia members known for sometimes, right? Gunning people down. You know, Al Capone, his era of mafia, his era of mobsters, what were they doing? They were in giant gunfights with the police, with the federal agents. They were mowing each other down, and the bratatat fits perfectly. Onto the Galil, we have the tuxedo. This thing is just a better version of the black tie. You can take everything I said about the black tie XM and apply it here to the Galil. It's just a better version. It just looks better. The Galil is the most underrated gun in the game. It's only $1,800. It mogs the scout. It does more damage than both the M4A4s. God bless the Galil. Onto the AKs, we have the Jet Set up first here. I really do enjoy the Jet Skit. I think it's a truly beautiful AK. Only main reason I'm including it here is because sometimes I feel like you have to travel a little bit if you're a mobster, right? You're making your voyage back to Italy. Maybe you're traveling around to take care of stuff. You're going to different places. Might as well collect some stickers along the way, right? Might as well show proof of your travels, right? Super slept on AK, a little bit off theme, but maybe it gives us a peek into the mobster's everyday style of life, right? When they're just hanging out with the public versus doing mob activities. Our second AK is going to be the Gold Arabesque. This AK is reserved exclusively for the Don, right? The boss of the family, the Skip. This is his prized possession. He saved up for years. This is a memorial to a lifetime of hard work from the Skip, right? Beautiful AK, just to prove that he's the boss, and when things need to go down, he's going to do it in style. Onto the FAMAS, we have the sticks. This is a weapon that has been just absolutely coated in blood. This has been used, this has been freshly used, recently used in a mob fight. It has the splash of ore all over it, right? It has the blood stains, it has the bones, it has the skulls. Very cool looking Galil, a little bit underrated in my opinion. I don't want to call it sleek, but I think it fits here. Onto the M4A1S, we have the golden coil up first, right? This is just to pair with the gold arabesque on the AK. This one was maybe a gift to the boss versus the boss buying it himself. It's not pure gold, it's gold plated instead. Still a beautiful beautiful looking skin. This one probably just sits on the wall. It doesn't see much action. You could find it maybe in the boss's office behind his desk. It's a prized possession of his. It's very beautiful. Onto the M4A4, we have the Hellfire up next. This thing exactly like the ticket to hell. You have the devil on the skin with all bones and skulls all over the place. Lots of fire, right? Like we've talked about before, right? Mobsters are most likely going to hell. All the skulls along the stock of the weapon, potentially their friends, their partners in business. And they, they all ended up together, all burning in hell. 
Our second Emperor A4 is going to be the Eyes of Horus, right? Another beautiful golden artifact, just to pair with the golden coil and the gold arabesque. This one, though, may be involved in some sort of money laundering scheme, excavating really high tier items from Egypt, right? Antiques. This one is definitely a display weapon. A beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Onto the Og, we have the Plague up next here. I love these beautiful engravings. Also, the red along the skin kind of looks like bloodstains almost, right? We have skulls, we have butterflies, it's symbolism, it's metaphors. We have some sort of bone spines on the back of the gun there. I think it fits great. I think it's on theme. The name Plague doesn't really fit, but the general vibe of the skin I think fits perfectly. Last but not least, the op. We have the prints on this thing here. I love the beautiful gold and red engravings all over the gun. I, th I think colors alone, this thing is on theme. We also have some Latin written across the center of the weapon there, right? Latin comes from the Italian region of Europe, Italian mobsters, right? Romans. I think the whole thing fits great. Maybe the boss has this as a memorial to his heritage, to his people. I do definitely get like ancient Italy vibes from this weapon. It's a beautiful op. It really has grown on me. I used to be a prince hater. I thought the gun near mogged it so hard, but nowadays I still think the gun near is better, but I definitely still think the op prince is a high tier op. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am going to be giving away the Shadow Daggers Damascus Steel in minimal wear condition once we hit 1,500 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. Like I said earlier, all you have to do to enter is subscribe, leave a comment on this video, and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.